Welcome to Inside China Today. I'm Tara Sunderland and here's the news summary for Wednesday the 9th of December. First, the headlines. A democracy activist flees China as the Democracy Party roundup intensifies and Beijing warns Taipei not to play with fire. Meanwhile, Britain pushes China to clear up Hong Kong's legal grey areas after the snap execution of Big Spender. Democracy activist Yao Zhengxu is preparing to flee China for the United States on Wednesday as Beijing intensifies its dissident crackdown. Yao is headed to New York City with his wife and daughter. China is rounding up leaders of the China Democracy Party, the first attempted opposition party since the Communists seized power in 1949. Meanwhile, prosecutors formally charged Democracy Party founder Zhu Wenli. Reports didn't identify the charges against him. For more on this and other stories, see Inside China Today's top headlines. China warned Taiwan not to play with fire on Wednesday after voters in the southern Tainan city rejected reunification in a referendum last week. More than three quarters of the approximate 125,000 voters opposed Beijing's rule over Taipei. A spokesman for the mainland's Taiwan Affairs Office said that Taiwan's reunification with China was, quote, a sacred historical mission. He warned that any attempts to declare Taiwan's independence would jeopardize the island's residents, but stopped short of the often repeated threat to invade. Britain pressed China on Wednesday to resolve legal gray areas in the execution aftermath of Hong Kong gangster Big Spender. Hong Kong resident Chung Se Kung was executed on Saturday, just five days after his appeal was overturned. Hong Kong doesn't exercise capital punishment, but since most of Chung's crime was committed on the mainland, he was tried and executed there. Analysts say the execution puts Hong Kong's legal independence into question, as the territory and the mainland still don't have a formal extradition treaty. And now the business news. The Washington Post reported on Wednesday that a U.S. Pentagon report accused Hughes Electronic Corporation of divulging sensitive technology to China. The U.S.-based Hughes transfer of satellite technology to China after a commercial satellite crashed in 1995 aroused congressional interest this year. The Defense Department report said that Hughes went well beyond what was expected under the circumstances. Hughes denies transferring any information that could boost China's ballistic missile program. And that's today's China Summary. For the European Internet Network, I'm Tara Sunderland.